Hello Seekers, welcome to Panis Astrology, your one-stop astro channel. On 26th of February, Mars will transit in Capricorn until 6th of April. Mars is considered to be exalted in this zodiac sign. Capricorn is a zodiac sign where all strong graha, Mars, Saturn and Sun achieve strength. When Mars transit in Capricorn, the enthusiasm, power, capability, agility and strength of Mars are at their peak. But in this situation, if you see, Mars is in a Graha Yuddha with Venus and as soon as Mars will enter Capricorn, Venus will follow Mars and within a few days, Venus will cross Mars and enter Papakartari Yoga between Mars and Saturn. And as soon as Mars enters Capricorn, it encounters Saturn and Mercury. It will form a very strong and powerful Mars and Saturn presence in the 10th, 10th zodiac of Kal Purush. Uh, if you see on one side, Mangal is an agile planet and acceleration of life, whereas on the other side, Shani portrays maturity and indicates break in life. This means that when both acceleration and break are at their peak powers and performance, we can say that vehicle is in a perfect condition. But it depends on the driver if he uses the brake more or the accelerator. But if you see, brake will always precede the acceleration, whether it's life or in vehicle. This means that Saturn will always overpower, overpower the energies of Mars. Mars is a planet of discipline, soldier, warrior, and a true soldier never breaks his discipline. Mars and Saturn coming together gives strength to the military, makes the military of the country formidable, and strengthens the feeling of nationalism. Mars also denotes blood, anger, and adrenaline rush in the body, and as soon as it encounters Saturn, it will feel disappointed, but initially. Mars needs to pass the patience test of Saturn before reaching 28 degrees, the peak point of exaltation. This means that Mars won't showcase its exaltation power for everyone because the wall of Saturn will keep reminding Mars that it needs to stay grounded, which means that we should stay grounded. The theme of this transit will also be be grounded. Whoever will make the decisions under the influence of Venus, they, it is also in Capricorn, it will have to go under the test of Saturn. If that action isn't allowed by Saturn, even, even after the energy is given by Mars, you won't be able to finish that task because Saturn is in its own house. And remember, break precedes acceleration. And in future, Saturn will go in Aquarius, its mole Trikon Rashi, Rashi. If you consider Mars to be a power pack of energy and Saturn to be the guiding force that won't let you choose a wrong path ever, then you cannot come across a better conjunction than this. Although, proceeding in life with excessive power, dominance and authoritarian emotions will result in severe friction in the house where Capricorn is present. This means that you should check in which house Capricorn is located in your Kundli and how far is Mars from that house. Say for example, Capricorn is in the second house of your Kundli, which means you are a Sagittarius Ascendant, or Capricorn is in your fourth house in case you are Libra Ascendant. From there, if your Mars is 6, 8 or 12, then you may face some restrictions, some issues, and you should control your anger. Tasks related to that house may encounter problems, and you may have to give in a lot of effort. I would advise to observe this transit more with respect to Moon than Ascendant, because the impact it will have on your mind is a lot more than your ascendant. When Mars and Saturn will be present in one place together, you may not succeed with your task irrespective of the efforts and may feel you are being walled by some energy. And then in that situation, your emotions will be impacted the most. You may feel frustrated, afraid and tense. In this case, if the Mars is present in 6th, 8th or 12th zodiac sign from Moon, which means if Aquarius is your Moon sign, Leo is your Moon sign or Gemini is your Moon sign, then the results may not be very positive. This is because the friction of Saturn and Mars will come in your Trik Bhava, 6, 8 and 12. This transit simply means surrender and devotion and it is a transit of power and Bhakti. Here, there is no better solution than receiving blessings of Bhagwan Hanuman. Irrespective of your zodiac sign, you should chant Hanuman Chalisa at least once a day. 
This will regulate the friction of Mars and Saturn. If we observe the Leela of Lord Hanuman, the one who carried Sanjeevani booty on his, on his hand, who is the Lord of Ashta Siddhi and Navanidhi, then as per Hanuman Chalisa, Aapne tej samharo vaha pe teeno lok haakate ka pe. Meaning, you alone are befitted to carry your own splendid valor, all the three worlds, tremor at your thunderous call. And he, the supreme power, is also the Param Bhakt of Bhagawan Shri Ram and teaches us devotion and how power should be controlled, respected and used for the betterment of society. Jai Shri Ram. That's what we should learn. With great power comes, with, comes great responsibility and those who will show great responsibility and restraint will be successful in this transit of Mars in Capricorn. You can make the most of these days by planning your future, finishing your incomplete tasks and improving your health. People who feel depressed or sad can feel enthusiastic because of the energy. This time the presence of Venus makes it romantic. Here you should read poetry, listen to music and enjoy but within boundaries. The biggest purpose of this transit is to enjoy life with the feelings of betterment, betterment of society within laws and regulations. Anger born out of rage and revenge will, revenge will burn you from within and this will in turn damage Venus and Venusian zodiac of your chart. Venus will be in Pap Karthari, you should not forget that. But the person who will be devotional, positive and humble, grounded, will not suffer at all, rather will see the bright energy of this combination. And if you observe Mars, zodiac sign, Aries and Scorpio are going to be affected the most because they are ruled by Mars. Aries may face the most restrictions in the 10th house that indicates career. Whereas Scorpio may get into fights with brothers and neighbors. You may feel frustrated if you face issues in work done with effort in your career but with no appreciation or recognition, be it job or business. In this case, chant Angarak Stotra three times a day and try to be patient all the time. For Taurus and Libra moon sign and ascendants, Mars is the seventh lord and for you the first lord is under Graha Yuddha and Pap Karthari by the seventh lord. This means you will be facing a stiff competition and circumstantial hurdles. The best way is to cooperate and coexist. It is important to worship Ma Durga since that will make you feel positive. So chant Durga Saptashati or Mahishasur Mardani Stotra. For Mercurian Zodiacs, Gemini and Virgo, the transit will take place in the 8th house of Gemini. Anger will only lead to losses and patience will lead to success. For Virgo, wisdom, jealousy, anger and envy are the areas which will be impacting your life. So read Ram Charit Manas and Sundar Kant to improve business or investment. Think of long term and spend wisely. Do not compare yourself with anyone and, any, and at any cost, avoid stress. In case of Jupiterian zodiac signs, Sagittarius and Pisces, this transit will impact houses of finance. Capricorn controls the financial houses, 2nd and 11th houses from Jupiter, the 2nd house for Sagittarius and the 11th house for Pisces. Since financial houses are being controlled, it is important to save. Your income will also increase and it is advised to spend wisely and save handsomely. If possible, donate blood. Your words can affect your career and finances, hence try to stay quiet and think twice before saying anything. Drive carefully and consume food wisely and eat sattvic. Avoid alcohol and smoking. If we talk about Saturnian zodiac sign, which is Capricorn and Aquarius, for Aquarius, this transit will take place in the 12th house, which can increase irritation and frustration. So chant Shani Mantra, take baby steps and move ahead patiently. This transit is more important for Capricorn since it is taking place in Capricorn Ascendant and Moon Sign. Your Ascendant will face the most friction. But this can also mean iron being forged in the fire that only makes you stronger. It only means to sharpen your energy since you are receiving Martian energy and Venusian creativity. You should utilize this. Pray to Lord Shiva. Coming to luminaries, this transit will take place in the 6th house of Simharashi. The number of enemies may increase 
and problems created by them may also increase and block your path. Chant Bajrang Baad and Panchamukhi Hanuman Kavach daily. Defend and protect yourself from loans and conflicts. Take consultations, avoid ego and stay grounded. Take care of your health with yoga and pranayam. Whereas for Cancer Zodiac sign, this transit will impact your 7th house. Circumstantial problems may increase. It's the 7th house. Don't take any decisions regarding marriage and business without proper planning and assessment. Respecting and accepting your boundaries. Keeping competition aside and adjusting will make Cancer Ascendant and Moon sign achieve their goals. Staying humble and grounded will aid in your success. And until Mars crosses Saturn, the energy of Mars will face stiff resistance and restrictions. Where there is a lot of resistance, obviously there will be heat and that may burn the positive outcomes. Have patience. Time is right to for growth but a calculated growth. This transit is about surrendering, going with the flow, feeling divine presence and about enjoying life. Venus is there. So enjoy life and enjoy the divinity but don't relish or cherish the war. This is a test for humanity. Let's see who passes and who fails in this test of patience and love. So friends, this was an analysis of Mars transit in Capricorn. I have shared some hints and I hope you liked the video. So please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to stay connected. Follow me on Instagram for reels and other engaging stuff and Telegram for links to all platforms. I'm going to start a small series on Telegram soon. So follow my Telegram channel for consultations. Drop me an email. Now, last but not the least, people who are feeling extremely angry and confused in life should practice Nad Brahma meditation, Nad Brahma Pranayam, Tibetan ball meditation. They should go to the gym and work out. They should visit Hanuman temple every Tuesday and Saturday. Chant Bajrang Baad and Hanuman Chalisa daily. And they should also chant Om Ham Hanumate Namah. Bring Hanuman Yantra in your home. Don't wear red clothes and avoid red and black combination. Fast on Tuesday and consume simple and sattvic food. Keep hustling and try to move ahead in competition. But whatever you do, do it in the right way. Do it in the way of Dharma. We'll meet you soon in the next video. Till then, Namaste.